So guys, welcome to today's episode number three of my Buy Munich Cream Mode series. Thank you guys so much for the support on this on this series so far. If you have missed episodes one and two, there will be a series playlist down below in the description. Go catch up on the two episodes that you may have missed. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like rating. Uh, th thank you for all support also on the two episodes. Make sure you drop a comment down below like a person to respond to. I do respond to your guys' comments down below in the comment section. Also, click subscribe if you are new around here. But let's jump into the first game of today's episode. Coming up against Hanover at home at the Allianz Arena. You guys did take a look at the side that I'm going to be rocking for this game. And the Hanover side for this game, Hanover are a mid-table team. So they're not really up there with the likes of us, Schalke, by Leverkusen and um, Wolfsburg that you can count in the top, say, quarter of the table. But the first highlight in this game, we're going to try and look to get pick up all three points as we are sitting first in the Bundesliga at this moment. Obviously, we're still in the early stages, but in the 13th minute, we actually are going to take the lead. We're passing the ball around, trying to find a player in a good position that he can take the shot away. And Thiago was that man. He made a Bayern Munich one. Hanover nil in the early stages of this game, but in the 17th minute, we've got Robin cutting inside, making his way inside the box. He's going to go and try and take a shot himself, but the shot was straight at the keeper. Robin is denied and scores are going to remain at a 1-0 advantage to us. But in the 28th minute, Hanover are on the attacker. They have heaps of room. Very bad defending there from me. Manuel Neuer with the save. And from that, our defenders pounced on that ball like they haven't seen one before. And they do clear it out. In the 33rd minute, we try and play Robin through. As he was making his way onto goal, the Hanover centre-back does take him down. And, that, and resulting in that, the Hanover defender... Did get red carded. That's right. Hanover are down to 10 men. They're struggling with 11 men. Now they're going to struggle even more with 10 men. Nothing came from that. But in the 73rd minute during the second half. Hanover with the cross here. They have a great chance through the header. And it's just Manuel Neuer tipping that one over the goal. Over the bar. And the scores are going to remain at a 1-0 advantage to us. But from that, pushing on from that in the 90th minute. So during stoppage time, we did have a chance. As the Hanover goalkeeper is going to clear it out. But Banasha is going to win the header. As he headers it straight to Stefan Jovetic. Who plays it wide to Robin. Who does well to get around that defender. Robin with the shot. And he saved from the goalkeeper. On the rebound, he falls to Robin. As he plays the Stefan Jovetic. Who plays it to Julian Draxler. And Draxler does finish that one right into the bottom corner, actually on the outside of his boot, and he's going to make a by Munich 2, Hanover nil, and that is how the game is going to end. A very nice 2 nil victory to us. Obviously, the first goal was from Thiago's. He did well to make his one to goal. Draxler's goal was a bit of an easy one. Obviously, they were down to only three defenders at the back. Draxler was free, and it was just a really nice finish there from him. So, a 2-0 victory to kick off today's episode. A great way to kick off today's episode. We are also going to be having a few Champions League games in today's episode as we did start the Champions League in the last episode. We're still undefeated, the only team in the Bundesliga that is undefeated. From seven games, we've won five, we've drawn two. We now have a two-point gap between us and Bayer Leverkusen, which is very nice to see. But Berta, Werder Bremen are the next time we are going to be coming up against. This is yet again in the Bundesliga. And let's hope that we can pick up another win and still keep that undefeated streak going. I'm loving playing with this team. We are still in the early stages of this career mode uh, for this season. But Werder Bremen, sorry, they're down in 17th. That's right, they're down in 17th. We're in first, so... On paper, really, we should be the favourite picking up all three points. But anything can happen as Thomas Muller will be starting as a central attacking midfielder for this game. Also, Philip Lama. I've been starting him as a right back that you guys have been telling me. Start Philip Lama as the right back. But I'm actually using him as a central attacking midfielder as Xavi Alonso will be playing as a CDM. That's the team that we are going to be coming up against for this game. The 4-3-1-2 formation, really like a 4-4-2 formation, we are going to be coming up against for this game. But the first hole actually fell in the fourth minute. It fell to us as Thomas Muller does well to cut inside. He actually plays it to Robin. It's Robin who's going to try and get around this defender here. Actually does so 
loses the ball, but the ball does fall to Thomas Mullis. He plays it to Robert Lewandowski, who plays it to Frank Ribery, who takes a shot saved from the goalkeeper, but off the goalkeeper, it almost went in, almost giving us the 1-0 advantage here in the early stages. But we're going to push on into the 33rd minute as Alonso plays it to Lewandowski. He loses the ball, but Philip Lam plays it back to Thomas Muller. He does actually lose the ball, but the ball fell right near him. So he just decided to take the shot, but his shot does go wide of the goal. Actually came off one of the opposition defenders, resulting in that we do have a corner as Robin does whip in the cross, trying to find Boateng. The ball does fall out to Thomas Muller. He's going to finish that one into the bottom corner as the Bremen goalkeeper actually came out trying to spoil the ball. Actually, I think he did so from the corner, but Thomas Muller was there for the rebound to tuck that one home to give us the 1-0 advantage here at the Allianz Arena. Another home game. It's very nice to see we're playing most of our games at home here. Very nice finish there from Thomas Muller. But in the 51st minute, we've got Alonso on the ball. As he tries to play to Thomas Muller, who actually loses it. And the opposition are on the attack here. They actually do very, very well. And their shot is again saved from Manuel Neuer. We all know how good Manuel Neuer is in goals. What a, season, what a start to season it has been from him. But resulting in that, word of Bremen do still go in, still still go up, go on the attack here. They do take a shot, and yet again, they're forcing Manuel Neuer to make another great save. They take another shot, but their third time um, chance does go way off target. In the 61st minute, I've top ball to find Burnett. That's right, our left back did push up for that attack and play. It was a great ball to him, took it down, finished it into the bottom corner, and we are now 2-0 in the lead, which is awesome to see. We try and make a 3-0 in the 85th minute as the to over the top ball to Ian Robin. His shot is denied from the opposition goalkeeper. It is actually going to end after the 19 minutes by Munich 2 Word of Bremen, Neil, that's right. It's a great win. Yet again, another victory in today's episode, which is awesome to see. It's been a great start to the Bundesliga season, as I've mentioned before. Not really our attackers are getting the goals. From this game, it was Thomas Muller and Burnout. So a left back and our central attacking midfielder picking up the goals for us, which is just as good to see. We're coming up against Juventus. This is actually going to be our third Champions League game. That's right, another long episode today. You can call it about 20-minute special, but it's only about 19 minutes. Tomorrow, we'll have another 20-minute special. So I really hope you guys are enjoying these long episodes. Obviously, I do respond to your comments down below in the comment section. And so far, the response has been well. You guys are loving seeing these long episodes. But the Juventus side for this game is a very strong one. Paul Pogba, obviously, for Juventus will be starting. But my Bayern Munich side, as we are playing at home, yet again, our third straight home game for today's episode. It's our strongest starting 11 I went with for this game. The only change is Rafinha will be starting as a right back over Philip Lam Lewandowski up front with Ribery and Robin to the left and right of him. But the Juventus side for this game, Carlos Tevez will be starting up front as Buffon will be starting in goals. Lichtensteiner, Bazagli, Chiellini and Evra as the defense. They've got Pogba, Vidal and Marquisio in the central, central midfield position. Sorry, um, Pereira as a central attacking midfielder and Tevez and Lorente as the two strikers. It's going to be a very hard game here against Juventus, and they did start off at the on the right foot, as in the 12th minute, Arturo Vidal does have a great chance making his way inside the box, but his shot does go wide of the goal. So luckily for us, fortunately for us, the scores are going to remain at 0-0. But in the 30th minute, Lewandowski tries to get around... Uh, Trying, tries to get around the man there. We actually do lose the ball, but from that, Evra with a bad pass. We do win it back as Frank Ribery does take a shot, and he's Buffon with the save. That's right. Buffon pulls off a spectacular save to deny Ribery the, the goal to put ourselves in the lead here at the Allianz Arena. But in the 48th minute, Paul Pogba on the board. Pogba who plays it to Arturo Vidal, who plays it to Pereira. As Pereira is going to play it back to Vidal. And yet again, Arturo Vidal with another chance on goal. And what a save it was from Manuel Neuer. Saving that one with his legs, that's right. Saving that one 
with his legs. It was a fantastic save there from our main goalkeeper. What a start to the season it has been for him. In the 55th minute, Juventus do make their way to goal yet again. It's Paul Pogba yet again. And Manuel Neuer with a fantastic save. This man has just been unstoppable throughout the beginning of this season. Let's hope that he can keep it up. But some th two fantastic saves to deny Vidal and Paul Pogba as they were making their way onto goal. And there were great goal scoring opportunities. In the 74th minute, Lewandowski makes his way onto goal. And yet again, as Manuel Neuer is pulling off spectacular saves, Buffon is, p is saving. Uh, shots just as good as Manuel Neuer is but from that resulting in that we do have a corner as the ball does fall out to Rafinha who does try and take a shot he's both his shots were actually def uh, defended well from the Ju Juventus defense resulting in that Schweinsteiger is free he takes a shot yet again Buffon with the save but after Rafinha did take his two chances those two shots as they were well defended there from the Juventus defenders he actually does pick up an injury and he's very disappointed to see Rafinha down with an injury how long is he going to be out for we'll have to wait and find out but the game is actually going to end at a nil nil score and that's right that is our third Champions League game and our third draw so we picked up three points from three games in our Champions League group not too good to be honest. This game against Juventus obviously did end in a nil-nil draw, but we've been having too many nil-nil draws in the Champions League. Just overall, we need to pick up really, in my opinion, or winning all the next three Champions League group stage games if we do want to go through or maybe even finish first. But we're going to have to wait and find out as that Champions League does advance through. But we're coming up against Mushi and Gladbach in the next game of today's episode. This is yet again in the league. We are on 20 points from eight games. Very disappointed to see that we actually can't even pick up a win in the Champions League. Let's hope that we can do it in the next episode. Obviously, we do still have three more games to go in the Champions League, so anything can happen. We can win all three, draw all three again. We could even lose a couple more. We'll have to wait and find out. So for this game against Mushi and Gladbach, I have started a very strong starting 11. Draxler is actually going to be starting in the central attacking midfield position alongside uh, Phil, uh, Muller, sorry, as it'll be Ribery, Lewandowski and Robin up front. That's the team we are going to be coming up against for this game. Mushi and Gladbach are down in 10th. We're in 1st. And as I did say, Draxler, Muller and Alonso will be in the midfield. Jose Reyna will be starting goals for his first start for today's episode. Benashia and Boateng will be our two centre-backs as Philip Lahm does return in the right-back position. But let's jump into this game against Mushi and Gladbach. Let's keep this great start to the season in the Bundesliga continuing. Let's go. As in the 16th minute, we do win the ball here as Robin is going to play to Lewandowski, who does well, and he plays it to Frank Ribery. Does well with a huge touch to get around the defender there, making his way onto goal. And he's a fantastic save there for the Michigan Gladbach, a goalkeeper there. As Ribery was through on goal, it was a one-on-one, one -on -one, and he did make a great save. I want to say from his hip there, from that replay, did look like he did save that one with his hip. In the 39th minute, we try and clear the ball out from a free kick, but we actually can't do so successfully. It's Gladbach who were going on the attack, but we do well to clear it out. Frank Ribery now, he's going to be on the attack. Can he make another chance like he did not too long ago? Plays it inside to Lewandowski, who does do well with a fake shot to get around the defender there. And it's Robert Lewandowski with a fantastic goal into the top corner, into the back of the net. In the 43rd minute, we have given ourselves the 1-0 advantage. But resulting in that, a pushing on into the 77th minute. Mushin Gladbach with the chance, but all those chances that they were having weren't real goal-threatening chances, as resulting in their chance, Neuer's going to play it long, It was, I think it was to Ribery, who played to Lewandowski, who played it wider to Robin. it's Robin, who was 1-1 one -one with the keeper, and was a, yet again a fantastic save there from the opposition goalkeeper, but the game is going to end at a win to us, that's right, we pick up another three points in the Bundesliga. What a start it has been to the Bundesliga season. Fantastic start. So we do pick up here a 1-0 win against Borussia Gladbach, which is awesome to see.
after that game, we did receive a few emails as Alonso is actually going to be out for three months. So from that game, during the game, Alonso did pick up an injury. He's going to be out for three months with a torn calf muscle. That's right, Xavi Alonso out for three months. Our main central defensive midfielder is going to be out. How are we going to deal with him? It's it's that's a very big injury, Alonso, the main man, uh, main defend, a uh, main central defensive midfielder. Sorry for our team, but we're going to have to deal with him without him. Sorry for three months. It's going to be very long three months, but let's hope they can come back before say those three months. And can come back to the side. We're still sitting first in the Bundesliga. As that is how we're going to end off the uh, league games for today's episode. We actually are going to have a cup game. A German cup game. To end off today's episode. It's called the Dolchester Pokal Cup. We're coming up against Hertha Berlin for this game. We are playing away. And I didn't start, obviously, my main starting eleven for this game. This is only the German Cup. I do want to go find the German Cup, but it isn't my main priority. The league and Champions League is the main priority for this season. Hertha Berlin, that's their side for this game. I'm pretty sure they have the former Chelsea man, Kalou. He will be signing up front for this game. He's actually become a striker now. I remember Kalou back from his Chelsea days. But take a look at my side for this game. David Alaba will be starting as the left-back. Jose Reyna will be starting in goals as Burnett will be actually starting as a right back for this game. But Nash and Dante as the two centre backs. We've got Draxler, Goethe, Weiser, our young right winger, will be starting out on the right. Schweinsteiger and Thiago as the two CDMs, while we're going to have Stefan Jovetic who will be starting out front for this game. In the third minute, it's Stefan Jovetic who, as I was just talking about, plays a great over top ball to find Thiago, but his shot is denied from the Hertha Berlin goalkeeper. Thiago, that was really a one on one, and he did get denied from the goalkeeper. But resulting in that, we will be having a corner as Bastian Schweinsteiger is actually going to whip it in to find Mario Goethe with the header, and his header does go wide of the goal. So we're having the early chances here, but we're going to push on into the 16th minute as it is Bastian Schweinsteiger who plays it to the, our young right winger as he plays it inside to Mario Goethe who plays it to Stefan Jovetic does well to get around his defender there and Jovetic one on one with the goalkeeper did finesse that one or, or we're really on the outside of his boot does make it 1-0 in the 17th minute it's Hertha Berlin nil by Munich 1 with a great start to this game for us it was on the outside of his boot Jovetic and that was a very very nice finish from Stefan Jovetic who has started well ever since we have signed him from season uh, from episode number one in the 20, 27th minute Hertha Berlin with the chance here but they are going to put their shot well off target way off target of the goal not even troubling Jose Reyna there in the 73rd minute so getting into the later stages of the second half Hertha Berlin are trying to get on the attack they're just waiting for a slow build up they actually go for a high ball and that is where it's going to cost them here. It's Goethe who does well to get around one defender. Plays it to Jovetic. I think he was actually trying to play it to Thiago who did push up for this play. Jovetic is going to finish it into the bottom corner. It's now Berlin nil. by Munich 2. That's right. We've taken a 2-0 advantage and that is how the game is going to end. We will be advancing into the next round of the German Cup which is awesome to see. And that is how today's episode is going to end. Another lengthy episode. Guys, if you do, if you did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and drop a like rating. Comments down below are greatly appreciated. I will also respond to your comments. Make sure you click subscribe if you are new around here. We're going to have a huge game against Dortmund to kick off the next episode. And I'll see you all on my next video.